I hate that name. Thank you, Jules, Jennifer. Okay, so, why do I hate that name? I hate fake people. Cloud chasers, you know the deal. Hi, Che, Beans Beezer. Thank you, Kaylee. I look like your cousin. Really? Okay. Well, that's interesting. Maybe I am your cousin. <laughs> do you love your cousin, Lindsay? Cotton candy. I'm eating Taco Bell. It doesn't even look good. It looks like shit. I don't feel like fucking it's hot, and I was out doing shit and stuff, and you know. Got pizza, snacks, and got him some nuggets. And we're good to go. We're having fast food today. That's freaking hot, and I'm in a bitchy mood, and I'm not going to Costco today. Maybe tomorrow. Sherry, hi, welcome to Grand Port Music Risha. Peace. Hi, Karen. Love the look. Thank you, Bridget. I love her. Pills for brains. Miss Mamas. Thank you. Tracy. I hate the name Sarah Jane. <laughs> well, I'm just kidding. I hate I just hate fake people. You know. And I got a crunch wrap this time. So, yeah. I'm gonna put the hot sauce on it. Okay, let's eat in a Baja Blast. You know how I do. Selena, really? Oh. Did you eat your chicken stew? They just had their dinner. This is too high up. I'm just a high food. Mm. I'm right. Hi, Jack. I'm doing better today. Doing a lot better today. Hi, Yumi. Why am I doing this? Who cares? I'm not a mukbang channel anymore. I'm in, I don't even know what any channel anymore. This is me. This is a me channel. How about that? What kind of content do you do? Myself? <laughs> Hi, Tiffany. You don't have fries at your Taco Bell? Hi, Lisa. <clears throat> Damn it, Amber. Thank you. They can tattoo it. Hi, everybody. Oh, shit. There goes half my fries. I try to shovel too many in. No, my wig? No. I conditioned it a bit, put it on the wig stand, and was, uh, I curled it on there, but the bangs are a bit weird, but whatever. I look like I'm from Joyzy, don't I? So, <clears throat> I have a busy weekend. Okay, what am I gonna do this weekend anyways? I need to plan my weekend. I want to plan, like, I'm trying to plan who I want to have company with, like, on what days. Hi, oh, yeah, Janet. So, my preference is the new Egyptian guy. What do we call him? Habizi. My first choice is Habizi. Um, by the way, I just want to say... No, no, I don't. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, he's, uh... Call him sub. Oh my god, basic! <laughs> no, he's, um... I actually am talking to a real Dom. Like, a real Dom. Remember I told you the one that I swiped and, like, please match with me? And he's very respectful. He's like, these are these are how I play. These are, like, they, he's very respectful. Tell me what you like, what you don't like, and I respect it 100%. No. no. They have to respect your boundaries. So I was happy to see that. Because, like I said, I kind of like... Sometimes a little bit of that kind of fat life, a little bit, maybe a little dabbling here and there. It's exciting. Never thought I would say that, but it has to be done safely and respectfully and everybody has to be consenting and respected. Why not go for an outdoor date? That's what I want to plan. I want to plan a date this weekend. Mm. I'm full. Anyways, I miss playing Mario. Those efforts have not released the new episodes yet. I don't like going outside though, like with my, even on a good day. So I don't like going outside. I'm not like one of those, I'm not gonna go mini putting. I can't even breathe. So I'm gonna do something, but yeah, I know what you mean. Like for me on a date would be in the evening, maybe just go for drinks and something to eat or something. Or, and then maybe like, I don't know, the one guy, maybe we'll do that. And then maybe we can come back here and have a good night. I don't know. But there's the other guy. I'm supposed to go for, coffee or brunch with on Sunday. I'm not sure. Do I like the movies? Yeah, but no, I haven't gone really since COVID. I gotta get my booster. Pete's was saying we're due for that. Do you like your chicken stew? 
Oh yeah, I wonder if she's okay. Vegas, if you're here, let us know you're okay or not. I swear I forgot. I think I was so tired, I'm just like, thought it was like a dream yesterday. Or should I say this morning? I look the heat, I'm about to change that. French wrap supreme, my way. Ugh, why did I say that? Honestly, habit <laughs> of seeing it around. Jay, you're the bee's knees. She is the bee's knees, Jay. And I don't bring a whole bunch of guys here. Chalupa. Hi, Lyra. More like a nightmare. Hi, Emerald Skies. Oh. Can I take my huge earrings off? The wig is gonna come off soon too. <laughs> I got, before I see anybody, I gotta wax my face. I was looking. Good thing I met people at night. Oh, Emily, I didn't see you. Hi. <laughs> I'm sorry, sweetie. <clears throat> I'm making a crunch wrap, homemade. <laughs> Taco hell, <laughs> it's gonna be. Poo poo's in the kitchen, coming right up. Hot on a platter. <laughs> Hot on a poo poo platter. Homemade breakfast. Wow, why'd you dump him? He made you homemade breakfast. I'm kidding. <laughs> Hi, Colleen. Hi, JB. Yeah, Danielle. What the hell is this freaking cheap ass? <sighs> why am I full? I must be skinny. I used to be able to choke down five of these. <laughs> Seriously. What did, when I was in my mukbang days, what did I used to eat? Two, at least four, four Dorito Taco Supreme, the fries, maybe a nacho, and then a burrito. Ugh. I'm tired. <laughs> I fall asleep during my crunch wrap. 90 minutes to Taco Bell? Shit. I was a powerful eater back then. I don't want to go back to that. I know people are like, I miss your mukbangs. If I do mukbangs, it's going to be cooking videos and eating what I cook. I'm not an Ozen pick, no. But I haven't, I don't pig out, like, so I'm not as, I don't have as big of an appetite. <clears throat> no Taco Bell there. Cooking with bangs are more fun. If you don't stop smoking, you'll never <laughs> stop getting the munchies. I eat mostly home cooked meals now. Honestly, this is gross. Like, what I made yesterday tasted better, objectively, like, better. I don't want fit fit. Ooh, for real. Nasty. Fries were hard and cold. Like, what am I missing? Fuck. No. This is good though. I enjoy having a soda here and there. Like a fountain soda, not can, you know? <clears throat> I really have to wax. There was a heat warning. There's a heat warning all week. I had, like, I waited till I absolutely had to go to the store. So, what I, I have plans actually for this kitchen. So, I need to book the junk people to come and remove all these boxes and then that's not even that's one box mountain so they're gonna take all that i want them to take my broken kitchen table and i want to get from wayfair or somewhere a breakfast nook bench like that an l and i want in this corner over here to move the walker <coughs> i could probably donate that walker i think i'm gonna put it on kijiji for free or maybe i should sell it for cheap i paid like 250 for it i could sell it for like 100 bucks or 80 bucks to somebody who really needs it that would help somebody out. Thanks, Ula. Costco. Um, I don't know, man. We'll see. Hi, Sam. Um, but I also want to buy an espresso machine, like a Breville espresso machine. Um, so I don't have to go buy Starbucks every day. Uh, I want an espresso machine and I want to make my own coffee. And we can coffee bees, and I can write off the new breakfast nook as a fucking tax deductible. Black zillion. Hello, thank you. How are you doing today? <clears throat> I just have a Keurig, which the coffee's not strong enough. I want espresso every day. I want to make Americano. I want to make like, actually the Breville espresso machine is not that bad. Like you can get a good espresso machine for like probably, I could probably get it on sale at Costco actually. I think they have some maybe for 400 bucks or something. But in the long run, it's like a big chunk of money up front. But in the long run, I think that I'm definitely now, officially since I'm old now, I'm a Java junkie. An espresso? Ooh, mm, I never heard of that. Like a, an express espresso machine? <laughs> I buy Starbucks beans and grind them fresh. Yeah, 
The fancier carry had strength options. Oh. Well, instead, I think I'm just gonna get like an old school friggin' uh, they're 700 to 900. Oh, I'm not gonna spend that. It's not strong enough, this weak friggin' Colombian, not even Colombian, it's just like a McDonald's house brew. I can't do house brew. I need house brew when I was fucking 10. <laughs> I need like, I need, <laughs> I'm brilliant at doing makeup? No, look at this. Well, thanks, Vula, but I just did it very fast today. It's very 90s with the black eyeliner, both up and down, but I hate weak coffee. I can't do it anymore. Nothing would be, par I, honestly, my life would be so, I'm sure getting up every day, making a friggin' awesome coffee. I wanna learn how to do the leaf. In my own coffee machine, I can be barista Soro. Yes, let's do coffee bees. I can get some, find, go and find some vintage art like at the uh, thrift store. We can make it a whole thing. Like, you know, I need content. I need to fucking amp up my life. So, you big fat chubby McSuse, make chubby McBoose, make chubby. Come here, McChubby. Oh, McChubba Chubba. McChubba Chubba. Woof, woof. <laughs> what are you doing? I get knocked down, but I get up again, and you're never going to keep me down. He likes chicken stew. <sighs> Anyways, there, I was listening on the news when we were driving around. So basically what I did today is this. Woke up. So this was my day. Woke up. Fell, finally fell asleep at around, like, I don't even know, like, fucking 10, <laughs> 9, 10 in the morning. Again, emotional, stressed out, doing it to myself. I don't have to expose myself to this shit anymore. Fell asleep, woke up a few hours later, and then just like went on my phone and checked all the shit, news of the day, all the social media and all that crap. <clears throat> like messages from my family and like people I know in my real life obviously take priority, but <laughs> peach tea, yum. Um, message some peeps. So what do you think about the, like the guy said, oh wait, what was I gonna say? Wait, let me finish my story. Okay. We're gonna try finishing a story first before I, because when I start talking about something, then I think of something else. <laughs> okay. Hi, baby Lee. I was paying my lawn guy at the store and all you hear is chubby big boots. <laughs> Did he say anything? Does your lawn man want me now? I'm single and insatiable. Oh, you. Okay. So I'm just kidding. All right. I don't, I hate the frappuccinos. I don't like ice caps either. They're too fake. Of course, Mystery Maya. So anyways, that's what I was getting to my day. And then the last, that's why I posted on my community post. I'm not giving it any more energy though. I'm not talking about it because I just, out of curiosity, was like, I wonder what excuse they're going to come up with. And sure enough, Kelsapri's, it was fake CGI apparently. So then I'm just like, you know what? So much happier not paying attention to drama on YouTube. So that's what I'm going to try to do. But, and then uh, Pete woke up finally. And then we went to get gas, cat food. McDonald's, Taco Bell, and a grocery store. Just ignore it. It'll drive me exactly, and it's not gonna happen. I'm not letting these people drive me nuts. You're not getting any more of my energy, any of you. Like, no. So, um, I wanna beat my own head against, I know. No. It makes me unhinged, so no thanks. <laughs> Hi, Yomi. Yes, Black Zillion, so. Can't imagine what he was thinking. Like, what is this woman watching? Hi, sweetest angels of the 10th. <clears throat> Rebe. Chantal, no matter what happens, just know that you're beautiful and deserving of love and respect. Thank you so much, Rebe. I love you. Ready, set, rebees. And eat with H. I figured it was going to be a BDSM explanation. No, that's not BDSM. Because there, it, it wasn't a sexual context. You know what I mean? Like, if it was BDSM, it would be a sexual context, right? It was a fighting, aggressive context. Yes, out of the situation and moving on. Yes, exactly. With these friggin' idiots. <laughs> Dressed like Big Ange? Who's Big Ange? Is that a friggin' uh, New Jersey wife? BDSM is not sexual. Bondage, isn't it? <laughs> Let the police do their job. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. Rest in peace, Big Ange. Who is that? feel bad for Dee, Dee but she has to decide for herself. That's what I said to Pete. I said, listen, True Doms would never know. It's not because he did the same thing to me, right down to the cigarette flicking and calling me a bitch and hitting me and everything else. So no, it's not. I'm happy for you to be ready to be done. Upwards and onwards, you deserve all life has to offer. Thank you, Autumn. Dead mob wife, oh. <laughs> ready, set, rebies. Thank you for being a member. Okay, let's go in the living room. You're really bugging me today with your ears in my face. <laughs> I'm just gonna 
Anyways, as I was saying, No matter what you say to somebody in it, like, she probably doesn't, like, uh, you know, I, I, I was just there, so what can I say? You know, like, I was just in that spot position, and so I know what it's like. You don't feel sane. She's probably not sane right now. Like, it's obvious she doesn't seem okay, no matter how much she comes on and covers for him. So that's it. And th that's the point. There's nothing you can say to somebody like that. Like, you couldn't tell me, right? You guys were so frustrated with me, and I was just like... I don't care, I don't care, you're wrong, you're wrong, fuck, whatever, you know? But I wasn't even like that, I find, because like for me, like every time something like that would happen, I would come on and expose it right away. I just honestly felt confused and like, what the fuck? <clears throat> I hope no one ends up dead. Uh huh, I hope not. God. Or even less. Anyway, she knows how I feel about it, like, and I, you know, I said my say and that's all I can say. Paneer Pondu, Chantal, you look so pretty today. The fire is back in your eyes. I wish you nothing but the best. You deserve it. Thank you, Paneer. Oh, Paneer. I want to make Paneer first thing when I get groceries tomorrow. Ready, set, read. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. The espresso machine will look good next to the juicer. No, I've been using my blender. <sighs> Just stay away. Oh, God, yeah, of course. There's no fucking question in my mind. Are you kidding? Like, he's so gross, so disgusting. Like, I honestly didn't think he would just deny everything. Like, really? Like, and then people still supporting that? Like, on video. Like, are you going to tell people that you're really insulting people's intelligence when you tell them they're seeing something they're not seeing? That's what gaslighters do. That's what gaslighters do. But not everyone is aware. Not everyone has self-awareness. Not everyone has a fan base or audience to help them open their eyes. You know, like, before this, I had no idea what, really what narcissism, what gaslighting even meant. You know? So it's like a lot of people don't even know what it even means. She's in denial. Of course you're in denial. That's one of the fucking, it's a, this is textbook. You know, like, I was too. Anyways, guys, I mean, you know, it is what it is. It's fucking fucked up and horrible. And if you can watch that and see how he hit her and still support that, that's messed up in my opinion, but whatever. Moose knuckle prosthetic. Stop making fun of my fupa noose, mo moose knuckle. <laughs> I gotta go to the bathroom, by the way. He's looking for his next supply in front of her face. Well, yeah, probably. Of course. I mean, what's he gonna do, right? But that's the thing. Like, he doesn't realize all his problems are brought on himself. He for the way he is, and I truly believe that in life. Now you're not gonna get away with shit. Karma will get you. <clears throat> Got me. I fucking believe he was my karma for mistreating, for cheating on two lovely people. Habiz are texting me today. Uh, <laughs> um. Okay. So tell me what you think about the communication. He said. He said. Um. Last night I said, text me when you get home. So he texted me, said, arrived. And so I said, okay, I had a really good time. And then he messaged me back like, I can't remember what he said actually. But yeah, so he messaged me today and um, we're probably gonna do something on the weekend. It is really cool that he can drive here though. <laughs> Cause he lives kind of like further away. Alex's shook video was for me. Ah, really? I'll watch it after. What stings? What stings? The meat, oh my God. No, the eyes. Oh, Yomi. I paused, like, I don't, I paused. After I seen the whole thing, I would pause, like, I would go back, pause, read comments, which I shouldn't have done, but that's what triggered me. <laughs> Sherry Spofford, you're making good stripes. Keep it up. Thank you. Ready, set, rebies. <clears throat> I'm not going to talk about his, no, he's not married, but I'm not going to talk about his personal life phone either, just because I want to be vague, you know what I mean? <laughs> Charlotte, yeah, I paused it, and it was like, he looked like an evil demon. I was like, Jesus Christ, how I could be intimate with men. I crave being around nice, docile men. That's what I crave. Nancy but I do find I'm more defensive with people like <laughs> if they're not super respectful of my boundaries I get really freaked out and block or just like I haven't met up with a lot of dudes I've been talking to dudes but actually met up I met up with Kevin Tony and I've been talking to them for a while first like this guy too I've been talking to you know so I make sure I'm comfortable first what the hell are Swedish berries they're like Swedish fish yep the red ones, but they're all berry shaped red. Vance, Be Vance Beezer. <laughs> hey, Rhonda. Kay. Finally moved. Yeah. Wants to do things right. Yeah. It's been quite the 12 months. I hope at least other women see your journey and it gives them strength to overcome. Oh, 
I don't feel strong right now at all. DM, what time is court? I want to go and fling my smoke at him. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I don't even know, like 9, 9 a.m. I think. What is it, courtroom four? <laughs> Everyone knows. Monty's got it down to a T, a science here. So it's gonna be August 3rd. God, imagine listening to him and Sarah Jane all day. The same. I don't mind, no, look, whatever. I'm not gonna bad, bad mouth Monty, but. I hope he goes. Can you find out? No, they wouldn't let me know. Called her a cow, cause she called him a coward. He cowardly hit a woman. Even, even if he tries to say the smack was fake, everything else about that abuse uh, behavior was abusive. Very abusive. Thank you, Lindsay. <laughs> And honestly, I hate when people, I'll, I'll explain something. Whenever people were like, why, when he smacked her, she's quiet. Because did you see him? He, no, when he smacked her, it probably took him a lot to go and sit back down. And then whenever he got back up and went, I eat people. He, if she wasn't quiet, he would have kept hitting her. That's how it happened. Like, if you don't stay quiet, he will just keep going. Like, it, it's, a, it's, it's like a compulsion for them. Like, they can't fucking, like, they just keep going and going and going until it's like their rage is out. So no, she was smart by not fucking saying anything. And, and sadly, that's just like, you know, that's like instinctively how your body reacts, I guess, I don't know. She seemed shocked to me after, like after the shock wore off a bit when she was walking towards her room, you could hear her being like, don't follow me, don't follow me kind of thing. I just get chills even thinking about it because I was through the same fucking thing, same, same thing. Like, I don't even want to talk about it. Mm, I All I'm left with right now is a burning hate for him, a burning hate. So to see his, I can't watch him because to see his smug face after, Honestly, I do feel really fucking bad for Dee Dee, the way he hit her like that. I can't even fucking... If I seen him hit her, I would, it would haunt me for life. Like, oh, He would have gone after her more yet. I don't even know Penny. Like, I would just click on whatever first one popped up, you know? I will not allow a person to him. <laughs> yeah, well, you'll be buried six feet under. But yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> like, it's hard not to, but... It's not the same. Like, you think you would act a certain way, but... Only you can take this to the police. Take what to the police? The the video? How can the, honestly, I think, I don't know. I'm like, honestly, just at this point, I think people would just fucking laugh at me. I don't know, Tutu. She's there with him now and being quiet. And I keep thinking it's because she can't address it because he's, I texted her and I was like, get the fuck out. I was like, kick him out? What are, I will, f like, honestly, like I would be there for her if she really needed to. I'm not, you know what, no matter what, like, honestly, think of our beef. Sophie King, I know you're done and I'm happy about that but if you even consider going back to him and flying to canada and taking you hostage <laughs> I, that's a deal sofa for real he hit her in her own home and that she pays for i don't understand why she just didn't fucking kick him out honestly Didi, at this point i think okay let's say this let's say this beezers if Didi agreed to finally fucking leave him we would let her on the channel we would party with her right we would fucking help her recover from it absolutely i would help you build your platform because honestly the beef with her was because of him that's it like, that's what it was. And at the end of the day, she's a human being who's going through the same shit I was. And now that I'm not emotionally involved like it, like in a jealous sense, I don't, I just want, I just want everyone to be safe. Like, and that's it. I have black cillian. <laughs> All Didi has to do is show that video. She just has to say what he did. Yeah, and the video is proof, yes. She has legit proof, legit proof. I didn't have video proof or nothing. I had nothing, you know, except that crappy fucking video, which I didn't get, like, he didn't hit me that day, so. You go through weird euphoria where it's kumbaya, but you were roasting her less than 24 hours ago. Emotional highs and lows, I guess. You know what I mean? But this is where the emotional intelligence comes in. Logically, the only beef I had with her was, and it just developed into just like tit for tat, like, you know, kind of stupid shit. Um, putting human ego, putting all shit aside. This is somebody who's in danger. Like at the end of the day, removing any subjectivity you have in this case, in this, in this at all, this person is in danger, whether you like it or not. And that was very evident from how he treated her in that video. And it hasn't changed. It's probably gotten worse because, I mean, he doesn't even acknowledge what he did. So, I don't think Didi's a bad person. I just wish she would value her more. Yes, nobody deserves that, nobody. Maybe him, he does. Gonna take him being jailed or police to get out of her house. And then once he's gone, she'll start slowly realizing it. Honestly, like let's go, like let's go to Electric Avenue and pick up hot Moroccan dudes. I know a few who would totally fucking take you out. You don't, you can do so much. It's so hard to see it though. It's so I understand because like fuck, I was just like so obsessed with him. There's no way I could, could ever be like that though. Like it's like the minute I, I, I don't know. It's like I needed to see those recordings and it just fucking changed my perspective on him. And not just that, dropping him off and then him fucking 
oh, everything. Just all of that was a perfect combination. In my opinion, Adder has more issues than just being a narc. Always remember when someone does you dirty. Yeah. But the thing is, is I don't feel like, she, I think she's acting out of character, just like I was. Like, she even said verbatim, You're, he makes me do things I don't like to do. And I remember, didn't I say that over and over? He makes me things do that I would not morally be okay with. Like lying to so many people to protect him. The Bowies. <sighs> anyway, a great actress. Yeah. Oh, I'm tired. I know. That's the stupidest thing you could ever say. It's fake. Because, I mean, you're really insulting people's intelligence at this point. I'm just good with these Corvina releases. He may go crazy on Didi. Yeah, that's my problem with it. These people don't care about anything except for their clout. Like, you're making it like a fucking entertainment show, somebody's life. So, okay, maybe you have that up on somebody, but that's your karma. Like, that's disgusting. Like, to be hard in comments, victim shaming, like, especially Dee Dee, like, you, it's obvious you're just fucking jealous of Dee's position. So if you want to be in her position, like, you sat, like, number one, like, she, supposedly if Jennifer Corvina was not in into him, why would she sit on that information? Like, you literally see a man beating the fuck out of a woman, and you do nothing for months and months until it suits you. It suits you for revenge. That's fucking horrible. I'm sorry. You're sick in the head. You're just as sick, if not more. Absolutely. So, and that's my opinion on it. I don't care. I eat people. Oh, he kept, one time he said something like that. I kept, he kept, said, when he's angry, he always says that. He says the same shit when he's angry. He's, he's fucked up. He's definitely, I don't know. Remember when you met his ex? That wasn't his ex, it was, a, it was a hookup online that he just started screwing. And then I don't know if she was homeless or something, needed somewhere to stay, he wanted her to move in. Dee Dee knows what happened the rest of those calls. She knows what is left of the day and calls. She needs to get the fuck out before they are done releasing. He's unhinged, he has nothing left to lose. And Dee Dee, he said to me so many times, don't fuck with someone who has nothing to lose. Think of your, again, think of your mom, what she would think if she saw you being smacked the fuck by somebody you're pay whose bills you're paying because he's asking me to borrow money to pay you back. It's all on the table now. There's no hiding, there's no going back, but you can move on and get a, have a good life for yourself. Like, why do you think so low of yourself? It makes me sad. It makes me sad. And it makes me sad to think I ever was like that. Like, I just, I don't, I don't understand how I was ever in that position now that I'm out of it. It's so fucking weird. I don't know. No, nope. but I'm not gonna sit here all like high and mighty because I like, again, I understand what she's going through. Those teeth could not, oh God, he's got an ugly snarly face because he's so evil. She's waiting for August 3rd because she has, yeah, she's probably just really afraid. She's very submissive in a lot of ways. So it's sad, but those, that's what he preys on. He's a predator and he's proud of it. He's a proud predator. He's sitting there all smug, like I'm not on my couch. I'm not smoking my cigarettes. I'm not drinking my coffee on the iPad I gave you. I bought him that shirt. Like you have nothing, name one thing that you paid for on your entire being in that crappy suitcase of yours. Like Dee Dee, God, I know like, he's so not worth it. Yes, anyways, enough of him. So, um, but my offer stands. If you want help making a platform and you want to have some fun, we can let bygones be bygones. All of this fucking shit was because of him. You know it was. I've said nasty shit about you because of that, because you guys were lying. To be fair, Dee Dee, you guys were lying to me the whole time. You were doing me so dirty. And I know it's because you loved him. And I'm willing to fucking forgive that if you save your life. Like, just get out. I, I forgive you. You know what? It's not even fucking important. Like, I've said nasty shit about you. You've said nasty shit about me. Your pussy's gross. My pussy's gross. What the fuck ever? Like, it's all stupid and juvenile anyway. At the end of the day, you need to save your life. That's it. Point blank period, because he will. I just have a really bad feeling. And it's to the point where even the audience members are like, this is dark and something, a storm is coming. Like a storm is coming, all we can do is warn you. I was where you are, you know, you've seen it. You've seen what I've gone through. Do you wanna be in my, in my position? You could be in my position. You could probably have a channel. You could have a good life. You can meet someone else. Like I met three hot Moroccan doms, real doms. Beautiful bodies, beautiful men. You would love it, I'm telling you. Say the word, I'll send, I will fucking hook you up with a better life. Say the word, text me. And I will fucking, I will, I will kick him out. I will fucking call the cops, get him fucking removed for you. And I will help you get your life back. Absolutely. Or <laughs> 200 subscribers. Whenever you, you're new to YouTube and you don't have any concept of it, how it works and everything. I think Roman's the same way, very excited about, you know, you, you get excited over, I was excited having 10 subscribers when I started my channel. <laughs> she makes a fool by lying to it for him. I don't care if she hates me. You can hate me because you know that I know the truth. 
and the truth hurts it does you know i don't care anymore I'm, I'm so emotionally removed from that now like i have no feelings for him so i have no reason to be jealous of Dee. Dee. i have no reason to hate her um so yeah i mean yes you have him you want him but girl he's gonna fucking kill you like he's going to hurt you bad and you know it <clears throat> she's how is she not innocent like she doesn't deserve abuse she might not like i don't know what you mean she's not innocent she's lied for him just like me i'm not innocent either I've done a lot of shady shit for him. Well, mostly just lying. Um, what else? She's a sub. She is, yeah. No, she'll admit that she is. But a sub-dom relationship doesn't have to be abusive. This is the difference. This is in Dee's court. Yeah, she can have him removed or keep him there. No one can save her. Just like no one could save me. You know? He really hurt her on the call. That's why she wasn't in the live. Yeah. I don't believe anything. Charlotte? <laughs> Who believes the kidnapping story? <laughs> Me? No. No. At all. If the state In the states, if a person gets mail at your address, you have to have a court order. Yeah, but not if they've been abusing you and your life is in danger. She has video evidence that he abused her. So in Canada, and thank God we're not in the states then, fuck. You can't have an abusive asshole removed from your house? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh, Canada. The difference is Dee, Dee doesn't feel bad that he, the, he abused you. You never were as bad as her. I don't know if I believe that. I think she knows it's wrong. She knows what the right thing to do is, but it's just not easy to do it, you know? She's already in so deep. Look at all the shit she went through with him. You feel like it's a fucking investment. To cut your losses before there's any more. It's like the fucking broken car fallacy. Keep sinking shit into him. You keep freaking trying to rehydrate a turd. It's not gonna fucking be nothing but a rehydrated turd. Be careful with the term dom. A dominant man is not a dom. It took a while and maybe most don't understand. Actually, from compared to most people, it didn't take a long time for me. It took what, less than a year, maybe a year? <laughs> Usually it take, I've seen comments from women, it took me 30 years, it took me six years, it took me, because it's not easy. And people who have not been through it really have no business being like judging women for it. If you didn't go through it, you don't have a right to judge for it at all, period. You don't know what it's like to be manipulated on a daily basis by somebody that you love. You have no fucking idea what it's like, what that does to your brain, how it messes you up emotionally, how you become dependent on them. She's emotionally, and she's emotionally dependent on him right now. Hi, plain cheeseburgers. I admitted to scamming Chantal and told Squid to take her for every penny. I think she was just at her wit's end and screaming that. Kevin Terry, welcome to Rainbow Beauty Recipes. But yes, she's condoning his behavior because she's with him right now. I was the same way, you know? But behind the scenes, we hear in the recordings, she's not okay with it. And they fight, and that's what I would do. I was not okay with lying about the night's end, caused a fight, dropped his fucking ass home, got in another big fight, more drama online, and you know? So, I mean, no, it's just... <laughs> he was abusive since day one. Usually women who stay for 30 years, it's because they become abusive. No, he wasn't abusive from day one. It was very subtle red flags. It was red flags I overlooked. So, no, it's not, Porch Drifter. It's not like that. It's not like that at all. He was very loving in the beginning. We stayed in bed all day. Like, there were red flags, like, oh, he didn't want me to leave, but I thought that was endearing. So, no, he wasn't abusive to me right away. They sing you. Why did I block Gia? What did Gia say? Was I supposed to really block her? Oh, yes, you're right, plain cheeseburgers. I will always trust you. <laughs> a steering wheel is a 16 inches. What are you saying? An abuser will go to jail, but you have to call the cops. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. This is the only life she knows. I have a feeling her ex did the same to her. Yes, she was, yeah. And all this for a man who wants to fuck your best friend? Really? God, that would, I, mm -mm, that's a big no for me, sorry. That's, like, how can you, obviously that would be, I don't know. Honestly, Dee, I find you prettier than Shushu. No offense, but I do. Just because she's thinner than you? Like, that's stupid. Have some self-worth, you're fucking, like, honestly. I know I made fun of her a lot, like, that was just fucking petty and stupid, and I was very, very angry. He bruised you that first night thinking it was what you wanted. Yeah, because I didn't speak up for myself. So I thought he said he was a dom. I never had sex with a dom. I thought it was dominant sex, rough sex. I kept thinking that's what it was, you know? Even that's why I was confused about is the sexual assault because it, sometimes there's a really fine line, you know? <clears throat> and I was on blood thinner, so I bruised very easy. Yeah, those were from him, of course. He beat the shit out of my tits. <laughs> like, it was very threatening towards Shushu. Anything that, that threatens is fragile masculinity. Don't call me coward. If you hit a woman, you're a fucking coward. Plain and simple. And you hate yourself. That's why you take it out on women. You're so sad. And Dee Dee can do so much better than you and you know it and that's why you fucking hit her. You're a piece of shit. And I hope you go to jail and I hope you rot in hell. There you go. I've seen Sushu. She's not unattractive. No, she's not. But I don't find her any prettier than Dee Dee. 
So how is that not abusive from day one? I'm not blaming you, girl. Yep, goodbye, porch drifter. Sounds like victim shaming. That's not blatant abuse from day one. You're basically saying just because someone's married and has kids with someone, it makes their abuse more valid. Just because I wasn't punt, I wasn't fuck like what? Because I don't even know what your fucking point is. You're fucking stupid. Get out of here. Like that doesn't even make any sense. Abusive from day one. No, he wasn't. That's not abuse. That I didn't see that as abuse. So if I didn't see it as abuse, just because you do, doesn't mean anything. Like you're basically saying I condone him abusing me, so I deserve it. That's what you're fucking saying. In other words, so fuck you. Get the fuck out of here. Who else wants to be blocked while we're here? Anyone else? It was terrifying hearing him basically say he was just going to take it. Actually, I'm going to come on here every day and talk about whatever the fuck I want. And if you don't like it, fuck you. Okay, thank you. He is a predator. You can't pin people how they react to things under fucking stress or duress or a new situation. You like, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. I thought he was being just a dom. Like I had no idea what he was doing was abusive at all. None. To me, abuse was being smacked, punched, whatever. So just because people don't see the red flags that you see, don't fucking victim shame them. Get the fuck out of here. People don't understand because they're fucking assholes and they think they're getting a one up on people by, by harassing them, by making these comments. No, you're going to get your karma. You've seen everyone here get their karma. You think you're any fucking different? Jennifer Corvina for you too. Bitch, you're going to get your karma too. Just watch. You think you're above everyone because you have video, but your motive is dirty. Your motive is dirty. You're dirty. You're trailer park trash. You tried to fuck Natter. Bring your kid to Canada. And because he didn't give you the green peen, now you're trying to out Didi because you're jealous. You're a snake. Have a seat. And I hope you fucking get what's coming to you too. I think they're watching tonight as he has to defend himself. Of course. These same people. Don't support him. Don't support him. Go watch him though. He's getting money. He's probably getting $6,000 this month because you people don't watch him. But please tell me again how I'm responsible for platforming him and s fucking continuing to groom him. Sorry, May, ha May and everyone else who tried to come to Canada to meet him, that's on them. That's not on me. Fuck you. That's on them. Fuck. I platformed him. He guilt tripped me into that too. Because he said, you ruined my reputation. And I believed him at the time. I felt bad. And I even said that many times. And he can, he's fucking free country. He can start a YouTube channel any day. If I didn't help him, someone else would. It's not very hard. You click create channel. And then you follow the prompts. And actually, he did work through most of the, the, those fucking steps himself. So quit being a hypocrite and asking me to take personal responsibility for everything as an abuse victim who made poor choices, as most do, when you are not taking the personal responsibility for reaching out to Natter yourself, wanting to come to Canada, give me a fucking break. And everyone who supports him on his channel, you're responsible too. So suck it. Only trolls think this most in, yeah. Never be silenced. No, fuck that. Like, this is my channel, right? And if people didn't want me to talk about it, why is there 1,700 people here? Hmm? Why are there 1,000 fucking 1,500 people watching him? That's why he's smug. He knows people are going to watch. He can literally go live every day. People are 1,000 people now are going to watch him because he's abusive. And they're like, oh, this is reality TV. So you're helping him line his fucking pockets. Good luck for you. I'm not. I watch him on reaction channels now. Honestly, I do. Like, I don't, if I see any clips, it's from reaction channels. I fucking can't stand it. So I'm not going to expose myself to that anymore, but I'm not going to sit here and take that sh those shitty comments. I'm sorry. I'm going to speak out about whatever I want to was on my mind at the time. And that's it. So yeah. Nosy? Nosy. Yes. Once when, when you're putting people's lives in danger, we're nosy. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's not, yes, it's everyone's business when you're abusing somebody. He's missing teeth because he doesn't fucking take care of them. At the hotel the last time, he made me take a thing and like scrape food out of his tooth. He's so gross. I'm blocked on his channels. Oh my god, your picture, Boba. <laughs> Fuck. I don't watch that gross filth. How are people gonna blame the victim? How, it's not, how are people gonna blame them? You hear it all the time. How does she not, why is she stupid not leaving? It's her fault. Like, really? You don't, you don't know what it's like to be manipulated and emotionally abused every day by somebody that you think you love. That manipu manipulates you to fall in love with them and then fucking abuses you. You have no idea what it's like. Where's my thumbnail? Exactly. Oh my God, Nancy. God. Yes, I blamed her for going to Canada. I didn't blame her for getting abused. I'm saying these people need to take some res fucking personal responsibility as well. Like, blaming me for them for them getting fucking abused? Really? I don't think so. That's not my fucking fault. That's all on him. All on him, actually. Sorry. I cannot believe he went from 200 views to over 1,000 views. Yep, people are supporting it. I told you. that. Obviously, that's going to happen. Like, because people don't give a shit. Including the channel that released that audio. It's disgusting. Smudge, welcome to Grandport Music. Ready, set, views. Pig mad. I look better than every fucking reaction. Name a reaction channel that's better looking than me. None. They're all fucking fugly. So shut the fuck up. Especially Charlie. <laughs> Plain cheeseburgers! Fupa or not? Gary. 
<laughs> yeah, right. That's irrelevant anyway. It's irrelevant, but whenever they send in super chats, like making fun of my looks, excuse me. Yeah, no, take another look. She has a dome you could fry an egg on. Like, yeah, sorry. At some point, like when people are continually going after your looks over and over, you need a reality check. You need to consider the source, like really? The fuck, like I said, tree lady, people who look like this, making fun of how I look. I'm, I'm fucking, I need a sponsorship by Wayfair so I can send every one of these ugly motherfuckers a fucking full length. Absolutely. He was caught faster by being on YouTube. At least no one has to wonder why he treats Didi nice. He don't. Yep. And somebody who said that to me too, I'm like, I just don't understand why he treats Didi. He doesn't abuse Didi. He gives it to her worse. Hi, Dan. Who's Dan? Are you cheating on me with Dan? Hi, Sam. <laughs> Hi, Sam. <clears throat> Only fans with rat guy. Oh God. It's not nice to call other people ugly. Uh, well, sorry. You're blocked. <laughs> I love people who shame me for calling other people ugly, but don't have a problem watching reaction channels make fun of my looks all day long. Like, I don't get that. Like, what's with hypocritical? Like, Sarah fucking Jane. Dude, she'll use fucking pictures of me, like, looking fat or, like, unflattering fat angles. You're fatter than me. You're frumpier than me. What the hell are you doing? You're the biggest hypocrite. You sit in your car looking like this, eating Taco Bell, and then you judge me behind the scene. Like, t fuck you. Like, Jesus. I'm ruining my channel? There's 1,800 people watching. Really? She looks like she's melting. <laughs> so stupid. No, I block because it's like stupid hypocritical shit. Like, you're gonna act like you have a problem with me calling someone ugly, but you're okay with them doing it? Fuck that. Just remember, narcissists do not see their point of view as wrong. So when he emotionally, verbally and abuses you, it's your fault. Right, exactly. But he, I don't give a fuck. Like, honestly, he needs to be held accountable anyways. I don't care about the fuck. He, like, the law don't care about if you're a narcissist or not. Go cry in a corner. Fucking childhood trauma. Everyone has fucking childhood trauma. Give me a fucking break. Doesn't give you a right to abuse people, you piece of shit. He likes abusing people. You seen his face in those videos? No. How can anyone sleep after that? Go to bed. Oh, yeah. It's easier said than done. God. I'm like, just at a breaking point. Dan? Who's Dan? Oh. <laughs> who's Dan? <sighs> He has a very punchable face. <clears throat> I hope he gets punched over and over in jail. <laughs> I'm okay. Face looks so evil, yes. I don't know if he's been reported to the police. They are rotting. His teeth are rotting. I don't know, people are coming at me because they want me to rage. That's why there's 1800 people here watching. That's it. Like, as if I don't have a fucking reason to rage. Like, why would you get sick pleasure out of watching someone rage? Like, that says more about you than it does about me. Why is he still online? I don't know. He didn't abuse anyone on his channel. Maybe that's why. So what can they report it as? The Dom will become the sub in prison. Love that for him. I know you're going to watch this later. I can't wait for you to drop the soap. Girl, his teeth have been past the expiration date. Chick Sammy, hi. His teeth never bugged me, I guess. And I can't, just because I hate him now, go back and say that. I mean, they, I didn't love them, but like, yeah, like objectively, like gross, but. Stabby's days are numbered. People need to stop watching him. Hate watching is still supporting him. Mm -hmm. But I'm responsible for <laughs> platforming him. Okay. I, all I did was come on here and out his abuse. Every time. Honestly, I don't even care if people, like, the proof is there. Everything I said was true. Every single thing I said pretty much has been proven to be true. And people just hate that. And I love that for you. Stay mad. Stay big pig mad, bitches. Wayfair mirrors to come in the mail. They come for Chantal because they don't want to admit they watch that clown and refuse to hold him accountable. Keep that same energy in his chat. Yeah. And there's like people who hate me so bad because they're so fucking jealous they can't be me that any way to get to me, they try. That's so, that's fucking sociopathic, pathological behavior. You're sick in the head, honestly. <sighs> I hate watch, not gonna lie. I can't, I don't understand hate watching. Like, it, it, like if I hate watch, I come in rage, basically. I can't stand it. Been here, Pondu, but you guys are not, emo you weren't emotionally, none of you, except for Dee Dee, me, and Jennifer Corvina. So there you go, her motive. Like she was emotionally, hi, involved as well. Oh, yes. Proud to be part of his harem and take the abuse and, and watch him abuse Didi because you want him, right? You're just as sick. And you were going to expose your child to that. Yeah, something to be proud of. Releasing the audio makes you a wonderful person. Not Sam. Sam says no. That's a skeptical Sam. Skeptical Sam. Sam hates Jennifer. Sam hates Jennifer Corvina from the well. Don't you, Sam? <laughs> I hate them all. I'm tired of, like, every word associated with them. I was disgusted, but yeah. yeah. He is cute. Look at his face. Probably more than the three of y'all. <laughs> yeah, at this point people are, but like, he messed with the wrong 90k subscribers. 
Of course. If this was, if I was met him in private, oh my god, I would. I don't know. Like, would I be out of it? Probably though. I can only take so much shit, honestly. Like, that's why I'm not in one of those for 30 years. Yes, there's women more that take put up with more shit. Doesn't mean they're weaker. You know, like, fuck that. It's payday tomorrow. What's the date today? I don't even know. I think it's coming soon, yeah. Deity is worse in my opinion. She's been sitting back pretending that Natter is not abusive. Full well knowing he hits females. Yep. Well, I knew too, right? Well, no, because I would always say, I would always be like, why doesn't he hit Deity? I didn't, had no idea of their relationship. This is why it was driving me nuts because they were lying and gaslighting me the whole time. Like super, 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 super gaslighting. So yes, she has a part in that, knowing how all of these things were crooked. I thought he was being honest with me, but I was always doubtful and it was driving me nuts because they would like, do you know what I mean? So now to have that full closure, knowing he was a fucking piece of shit liar the whole time and abusing her. Mm, mm, he makes me want to fucking punch a hole so big in the wall. Hi. <laughs> but I'm not gonna let him have that effect on me. It's good to know that you're gonna be taking it soon in prison. That's that's comfort enough for me. And if you don't, I'm sure someone will give it to you. I'm sure. If he doesn't go to prison or pay for what he does, I'm sure people will get vigilante justice or something. I don't know. He's like too cocky. He's too online. So many people hate his guts. She convinced you to drop the charges, told everyone the threesome was a lie and that Natter is not abusive. Yes, yeah, she's lies for him. I did that too. I did it too. When you're under their spell, you'll do anything for them, including things you would not morally normally do. Don't focus on your haters, exactly. We're celebrating. Cause you know what, they're still watching me and I know they're jealous and I know they hate when I'm happy and I know they hate that I'm right. So what am I even fucking complaining about? I'm sitting here making a ton of money. You're not, you're sitting here watching me for free, being bothered by me. I put up with your shit, I get paid too. So, vamos. All right, Sam. Thanks for buying Sam's chicken stew, bitches. Go get therapy, it will help. Yes, you're right. <laughs> They're scary keyboard warriors from Kiwi Farms. Do they even get paid to spend hours making 5,000 pages about me or what? Do they get paid to do that? Like, what's the incentive? Just like pastime? Uh, but you have a job, right? Like, people have jobs and lives and uh, better than me. They mean better than me to the point of being able to talk shit about me. <laughs> like, <laughs> we're having the biggest Beezer party when that happens. <laughs> have you seen all those marks on the lounge and bedrooms walls? Of course, he was beating up her whole fucking apartment. Those holes were not on the wall before. He was destroying her property. How, I don't, honestly, if he was in my house, number one, he has not been back to my house since that abusive time. I did, you know what? Fuck you all saying I put him in Pete's in risk because you know what? Since that, he has not stepped foot in my fucking house. He's asked to come back a few times. Oh, you're not going to tell me not to come to your house. Why? Because of Pete's? Like that drove him nuts. And still, no, you're not coming in my house. You hurt my, you fucking f f frightened my cat. She hates you. And you want to kill my best friend. You're not coming in my house. You're not fucking destroying my property. Like if that was, if he was fucking punching holes in my wall, I guarantee you, honestly, if he lived with me that long and did that shit, he would be dead because it would be a crime of passion. It would be, I would lose it. You see how insane I am right now? It would be so much worse. It would be so much worse. I would be snapped the fuck out and he would be head boiling on that fucking grill. That head would be on a platter because I'm telling you one more slap, one more abuse and I would have snapped one more. Because when he hit me at that hotel, my eyes immediately darted for the fucking pen. The Monville pen. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Something might have happened in that emotional state. That's why I'm telling you. When you're in that state, you don't know how you're going to react. So for you to sit there and tell women who've been abused and you haven't how to react, fuck you. How close are her neighbors? I don't know. Maybe people did call the cops. They'll never, you'll never know what happens behind the scenes. Think of how frightening it is if we didn't know the audio in a way, you know? Like I said, if fool would have hit me. So here, I want to clarify. I'm happy the audio was released and I'm happy that they're exposed, but under the circumstances, it's just gross. And it is dangerous for Dee Dee. And I'm sure Jennifer likes that. That's why she's doing it. She wants Dee Dee gone. I'm sure she fucking hates Dee Dee. She wants to be in Dee Dee's place in Canada with her son, taking that abuse, obviously, because you sat on it for three months, still making plans to come to Canada. But okay. And send him nudes, but okay. And I have screenshots of you admitting you were coming here to fuck him and build a life with him. Okay. So that's my problem with that whole channel. Now you know. He ended that la last live stream super fast. Either he was high as fuck or maybe police came. Can only hope for the latter. <laughs> it is very dangerous, yes. He needs holy water. I need holy water. I need to go drink holy water. I think she left Jennifer record it for protection, never thinking it would be leaked. I don't think they knew. Waking up and dealing with him 24-7. Dude, he keeps her up till four. And then when they go in the bedroom, he probably wants to have sex with her several times. Like he always did. He doesn't go to bed without having sex. So that's more hours of sex or whatever. 
and doing drugs and drinking all night or at least drinking all night and then having to get up like that is abusive you don't care about her needs she's fucking working to support your scrawny gross ass and you have the nerve to keep her up at night screw you yes i'm very sympathetic towards women right now yes very especially Dee. Dee. I don't care if she comes online and says, you're a fucking crazy bitch. Your pussy's gross. You have a fat pussy. I don't care. I don't. I don't. At least you finally understand that they're sleeping together. Yes. <laughs> he blessed the music while she was working. He had a whole fucking relationship with her like he had with me. And he was lying to her about it. <laughs> like Didi, he was lying. I can guarantee you when he was with me, he was lying, lying, lying about you. He doesn't want us to be at your house. He can't stand you. You're starting to flip out like your mother. You have ugly tics. He was degrading you. And then I was stupid, and at the time, because I, I hated her because I was jealous, I was like, uh-huh, he doesn't like you. Meanwhile, going back to her condo, he fucking flips the switch, just like a chameleon, evil loser he is, and says the same things to her about me. You know what? I'm Ag Agathon, I finally understand. It, it, I cannot, the biggest, hardest thing for me to understand in this all, here it is, listen up. How a human being can treat another human being that way. That's why I gave him the benefit of the doubt. That's why I believed him. I don't understand how a person can have no heart like that because it could never be me. Like I've said some pretty mean things out of fucking extreme emotional anger, <sighs> but to continually abuse and hurt somebody like that, never. And lie, like lie. You would get like, I don't even, he just, ugh, never mind this. I blew in the face. You know what I mean? Most likely get that evidence thrown out in court by posting it here. She's probably just doing more damage than anything. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. And is the gaslighting you into being crazy? Yes, the gaslighting. Like, I, he sort of made me at one point believe that. Like, okay, yeah, I am unstable, so maybe I am just flipping out. I literally, he's such an evil piece of shit. Puka Bomb, I hope you're fucking, you're your ugly dog. Fuck you. That's, again, I, why am I even addressing these people? Like, that's just, they're just doing it to trigger me because they hate me. Stay jealous with your ugly dog. You probably wanted to fuck him too. All these women who, like, they all had an agenda to get to me. It's really sad. Like, uh, I don't even get it. Like, I don't get it. Abusers. Abusing and lying aren't easy for them. Their pulses don't even... Yeah. And I didn't stay with it when, after what evil shit? When he hit me, I went back, yeah, so? Uh, it happens, like, you're victim shaming, that's, you're gonna get, oh, I can't wait for these people to get their karma. Your karma, Puka, Puka Mom, is that you have an ugly fucking dog, and you're so lonely and miserable by yourself in your shitty trailer, I'm sure, just like all of them. So you already got your karma, your life is shit. Just to even comment something like that, save your dollar ninety nine for your fucking cheap-ass stupid trailer, or your fucking dog's flea treatment. <laughs> the dog is ugly, Dave, fuck you. It's an ugly dog with an ugly owner. Trying to rationalize irrational behavior never makes sense, and will make you feel great. Exactly, exactly, exactly. But as humans, I want to rationalize it. Like, I, I just could never understand it. Like, what? And feeling confused. That's why he, oh, I hate him. I hate him and he's gonna pay. He's gonna pay. He's gonna pay. He doesn't think he's gonna pay. He's gonna pay. The dog probably smells. The pro dog probably even hates her. Nobody can blame you. You hoped you were the one to make him change. See the light. Didi is thinking the same. They never change, they change you to be afraid. There you go, yes. Yes. Anyway, keep blaming me, no one gives a fuck. Like, you know you're in the wrong, you're stupid. Such is life, walking from Pumpkin to Those are some sad, 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 sad people. And they're like, think I'm sad? I'm sorry, I have a very fulfilling life compared to you sad fucking bunch of people. Very fulfilling life compared to you sad fucking bunch of people. I'm sure you wouldn't like people calling your cats ugly. Who cares, Dave, shut up. I gotta go plug my phone in. I think my charger's upstairs. Oh my god. Ooh, ooh, it's gonna die. Basically, if you're gonna nitpick things that I say when I'm fucking emotional and you know that, blocked. See ya. Right? Oh, I should clean my room. That's what I had to do today. Oh, okay. Hold on. Can we just ban the dollar ninety nine losers? Yes, Aunt Janet. Yes, they are banned. It's always the same ones too. Your pup is cute, but Puka Mom's dog is ugly. Sorry. <laughs> Hers is the only ugly dog in the world. Okay, I'm gonna go live on my computer so that I can use my phone and we can also clean my room. What do you think?
I'll be back. <laughs>